everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression, the video. Thank you very much for watching. You can watch this video, all my videos, on our website, www.letsmasterenglish.com. Please check it out. Free videos, free podcasts, download the podcast, it's great. Okay, today we have a very good verb. Oh boy. But it's not good to do. It's a very good verb to know, but don't do it. The verb is upstage, to upstage somebody. She upstaged me. Are you trying to upstage me? Stop upstaging your boss. Don't even think about upstaging me. What does it mean to upstage somebody? To upstage somebody means to do better than somebody else. But the somebody else is somebody important, like your boss or somebody that everybody loves. This person is a family member or a star or a leader. And you are not. But you are trying to look better than the other person. So this, so the idea, think of a stage, and I'm singing, and did it my way. Now my song is not that good, but I try and I show you. And then you come and and you're pushing me out of the way trying to grab the stage. And Maybe you are a better singer. I'm a bad singer. You're a better singer. But I'm the one everybody loves. Oh, be careful. When you upstage somebody, you might be more talented, but people might not like it. And if they love this guy and you try to upstage this guy, you are going to look really bad. Yeah. So even if this guy is not that good, we need to show respect. We need to show respect. Very important. So speaking of singers, there's an American singer whose name is Frank Sinatra. Very famous singer. He's dead, but he was very famous. And he sang the song, My Way, Ended It My Way, ba 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 whatever. And nowadays, there's a young man, his name is Michael Bublé, B-U-B-L-E, Michael Bublé. He's really good. In fact, he sounds, his style is very similar to Frank Sinatra, but I actually think Michael Bublé is a more talented singer than Frank Sinatra. But Frank Sinatra was cool. He was the, he was Mr. Cool. Everybody loved Frank. Frank was tough. Frank was, everybody loved Frank. Michael Buble, he's a great singer, but he's not Frank Sinatra. So Michael Buble, when he sings, especially when he sings Frank Sinatra, he says, hey, everybody, I'm going to sing a classic Frank Sinatra song. I'm not Frank Sinatra, but I love his music. He never tries to upstage Frank Sinatra. He always says, I love Frank Sinatra. And then he sings, and his song is better than Frank. But that's the idea. So Michael Bublé, even though he sings better than Frank Sinatra, he never upstages Frank Sinatra. He shows respect. This is the idea. So upstaging somebody, not a very good thing. Check out the dialogue. Have you been working out? <laughs> yeah, a little. Why? Ha! <laughs> You're working out because Brian's working out. <laughs> I'll never let him upstage me. Yeah, it happens. Uh, at the office, there's there's me and there's Brian. And we're, we're a little bit competitive. Actually, I'm, I'm the one who feels competitive. Brian, he's okay. Whatever. But suddenly, Brian starts working out and he's getting muscles. So people like Brian even more. So in this situation, because I'm jealous, I'm envious, I start working out because I want big muscles too. So I'm trying to do better than Brian. Brian is doing 
50 kilograms, I'm doing 70 kilograms. Uh, Brian's doing 70 kilograms, I'm doing 80 kilograms. Uh, uh. I always must do a little bit better than Brian. I am trying to upstage Brian. Is that cool? It's not. Just leave it. Just leave it. I'll give you another example. Uh, in my family, my mom's spaghetti is king. I hope my mom doesn't watch this video. But let's be honest. Actually, I think my spaghetti is a little bit better. And it's healthier. But I will never bring my spaghetti to my mom's house because I do not want to upstage my mom. So when my mom makes spaghetti, and her spaghetti is great, when, I, when she makes spaghetti and I eat the spaghetti, oh, mom, I love the spaghetti, oh, this is so good. But inside my mind, I'm going, <laughs> actually, mine's better. <laughs> uh, excuse me. No, mom, that's not true. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. It's a joke. No, my mom's spaghetti is great. But mine's better. But I'll never share my spaghetti with mom. Because her spaghetti is the best. Don't upstage your mother. Can you upstage your dad? Is that okay to upstage your dad? Yeah, it is good to upstage your dad. Uh, but show respect. Always show respect. Upstaging is not cool. Show respect, okay? So if your teacher teaches you something and then you learn and then you're better than your teacher, don't push your teacher away. Put your teacher up and say, thanks to this teacher, this teacher gave me the motivation, the enthusiasm, the passion, the love that I have. Thanks to this teacher, I've learned all of this. Don't upstage people. Respect them. Put, them. put them higher than you. That's great. There's nothing better than putting somebody else ahead of you. It's a good way to live. Being a leader is wonderful, but remember where you learned your leadership skills. Upstaging. Try not to do it. We all do it. We all do it. We're competitive. We feel envy. But try and stop yourself. Oh, what's your problem? See, my cat reminded me. Um, I need to address some pronunciation in this video. I forgot. So, the word little. L-I-T-T-L-E. And you are not a little cat. You're a big cat. L-I-T-T-L-E. Now, how do you pronounce this word? The pronunciation is tricky. So I recommend students who have a difficult time with the L sound to use a light L, okay? So when we talk about the L, there are basically two L pronunciations. There's the light L and there's the dark L, okay? So I'm going to give you a really simple definition. These are your upper teeth and these are your lower teeth and this is your tongue in your mouth, okay? So when you do the light L, light L, the tongue comes between the teeth and it sounds like L, L, like, 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 like. Just leave your tongue, L, 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 okay? When you do the dark L, the L actually comes and touches what we call the alveolar ridge. So this is the dark L, L. L, L. You don't see the tongue. I like it. Like, 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 like. Okay? So we can hear the L in both situations, but once again, people who have a difficult time with the L, I recommend the light L because you can see it and it's easier to do. So when we have the word little, L I, T T L E. This in America changes to a flat T. And a flat T basically sounds like a D. In many languages, other languages, it sounds like an R. So in Korean, it sounds like a real, real, real. In Spanish, it sounds like an R, I think. Uh, 
uh, I'm, you, you guys, arriba, 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 something like that, uh, something like that. Little, 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 little. So basically, for American English, think of it of a flat T, the, the, little, 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 and both of these are light L's. Little, 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 little. Give me a little time. I need to practice a little, a little bit. Every little thing counts. Little, 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 little. In this sentence, yeah, a little. Have you been working out? Yeah, a little. Why? Yeah, a little. Why? A little, 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 little. Practice, 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 practice. Remember, practice makes perfect? No. Perfect practice makes perfect. How do you get perfect practice? With a coach. I'm your coach. In the future, if you can, join me and join our other coaches in DDM and Perf Live, and we will help you with your pronunciation. That's it. Let's go back to the video. Let's check out that dialogue a couple more times, and I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to check out the website, www.letsmasterenglish.com. Yeah. See ya. Bye-bye. Have you been working out? <laughs> yeah, a little. Why? <laughs> You're working out because Brian's working out. <laughs> I'll never let him upstage me. Have you been working out? <laughs> yeah, a little. Why? <laughs> You're working out because Brian's working out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never let him upstage me. Have you been working out? <laughs> yeah, a little. Why? <laughs> You're working out because Brian's working out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never let him upstage me.